Folsom in California, obviously, Obvi. Um, heading up to my buddy's neck of the woods. Actually, I got three buddies that live up here. Um, some of my best friends from childhood, one I met in college, um, and he's also become one of my best friends. So, it'd be nice to kind of see them get together shoot the shiznit and uh, we're all gonna watch the Pacquiao Bradley fight number two which shouldn't even be happening because Pacquiao won and completely dominated that fight was it last year or the year before I think it was last year but hey who it doesn't matter he should have lost and Bradley when if any of you guys saw the fight when he was getting interviewed post fight um, he was talking like he was he, like he knew he lost, like he got beat down and his spirits were down and all of a sudden they started handing him the belt and he actually looked confused so if you get bored YouTube uh, Bradley Pacquiao interview and you'll see how shocked Bradley was to find that he was actually handed the decision um, which is absolutely ridiculous so uh, I'm Filipino so I'm a little biased obviously for uh, Mr. Pacquiao but also because Pacquiao is just a badass in the ring. I mean, that guy has how many different belts and how many weight classes? The first ever boxer to, to do that. Um, so it kind of sucks that, you know, I don't know how likely it is uh, if he's going to get to face Mayweather um, because Mayweather is just pretty much dodging him um, because he doesn't want to lose. And he's, he's waiting until Pacquiao is kind of on the decline of his uh, career, which I think is pretty much just happening now since he lost to Marquez when he got knocked out. Even though he was winning that fight too, he just got caught slipping. Marquez slipped his punch and threw a nice straight and that was a harsh knockout on, uh, on Pacquiao. But um, it's kind of sad. So I, I don't know, we'll see if Mayweather keeps being um, the way he is and just a waste of life and not wanting to give fans what they want and give boxing what it ultimately deserves. And, that sport's dying um, because of corruption, much like everything else in the world. So we'll see what happens. But I've been driving. Actually, I've been awake since 3 o'clock this morning. It's almost 6 o'clock now, p.m. And we drove all the way from San Diego to Tracy. And I drove from Tracy to now driving to Folsom. Um, so a little tired. Um, yeah, I'm just tired and I'm ready to just chillax. I uh, can't wait to go to bed tonight, probably sleep like a baby. But I hope you guys are doing alright. Uh, 